So Dayton, Ohio, or more specifically Montgomery County, got some good news and some bad news recently. NBC, I think it was NBC Nightly News did a story on Montgomery County now being ranked number one in the country in heroin overdoses. I mean, my God, what a thing to be known for. I mean, the flyers are nice, the dragons are nice, fish is coming here this summer. But instead, I mean, there for a minute, I mean, my when he sent me the link, my reply was, yes, we're the champs. We're like the Golden State Warriors of heroin overdoses. But I guess that's really nothing to hang your hat on. Hey, man, I don't fuck with that shit. None of my friends fuck with that shit. I've never even seen it, you know? Over five people a day a day die from heroin overdoses around here. I don't know where it's happening. Not happening in my circle. My circle's very small, though, I will admit. I don't have a lot of friends around here, which is, which is a good thing. Who needs fucking friends? <laughs> They'll probably just die on me. I don't know. So I don't know. I thought it was nice there for a minute. I, I thought it was thought it was kind of cool that we were ranked number one at something. And it's just per capita, you know. If you want to start splitting hairs here, there are cities that have more heroin overdoses. They're just not as small as us. I don't know what the. I mean, this has been going on for years now. Every year, it just keeps going up and up and up. This year, there's going to be over two thousand heroin overdoses, deaths. I mean, that's the deaths. There's going to be a lot more than two thousand overdoses probably going to be about 20,000 overdoses, but most of the time they save them. And I don't know how I feel about that. I guess it's probably cheaper to save them, I suppose. I don't know. I don't I haven't quite figured that out. It seems to be the big argument around here though. People are, the majority of people are like, just let them die. Why are they saving them? I'm like, well, I hear you, man, but it is a human life and it's probably cheaper to save them. I'm guessing, you know, I don't know. Not pot. I'm not sure how all that works. Usually, young people they got kids. They got all kinds of shit. You know, who, you know. I don't know. Who's picking up the tab on the rest of their life? Probably taxpayers. Boom. We're home. Oh, I was just driving and doing the video again. I said I wasn't going to do that. Well, that steak and shake got me going. All fired up now. And the news that we're number one. Champs. Montgomery County. So look, if you do fuck with heroin, don't fuck with it in Dayton. Or anywhere, really. But if you are addicted to that shit and you're coming to Dayton, uh-uh. You're doing fentanyl. You're not doing heroin. Well, I caught the red light. This is awesome what I just did. You get gas, it's very important to put the cap back on and to close the thing, you know? Fuck. The fuck was that? You guess anything you like? What are you gonna get, dude? Yeah, I just like the uh, number two with ketchup, mustard, and onion. No cheese. And uh, Coke. All right, anything else for you, sir? No, that'll be it. So I'll have you on for number one, just ketchup, mustard, onion, no cheese on it. Coke. Sir? Coke. Yes, sir. That'll be all. Only five plus. I don't know what just happened there. I think she was like, I got you down as a Coke to drink. And I was like, Coke? <laughs> I thought she, she might have said, what is your drink? I don't know what just happened there. I fucked that all up. And I meant to say the number two. Did I say two or one? Uh-oh. If you're a vegan, you might not want to watch this part. Man, dude, they put some fucking onions on that thing. My God. I mean, I asked for some onions, but my goodness. I don't know if I need that big fat. But man, that big fat one's got all the mustard, man. I want to deprive myself of the mustard. Don't they know you got to put the ketchup and mustard on first and then put the... Well, there we go. Then put the... Oh, man. Mmm, I love mustard. Mm, pretty good onion. Alright, I won't make you actually sit here and watch me eat a burger. That was, that was a tasty burger. As Jules would say. It was so rude when Jules ate that kid's burger in Pulp Fiction, I thought. Drank all of his Sprite. 
Enjoy a delicious JTM burger or Philly kit today. You'll find JTM in It's not a Steak and Shake ad. It was not product placement. I really don't think they would want me as, a, as an endorsee. Or, how's that work? Is that right? Endorsee? That didn't sound right. Endorser? I don't know. I'm not real good at English. My only language. I'm not even, I fucking can't even speak it barely. Yeah, well, you should have seen where I went to school. When it comes to baseball, trust matters. The level of trust and communication between a pitcher and a catcher is... All right, again, I'm done. Enough's enough. 